Hi everyone, it's Dishti here, Special Dietitian for Children and Parents. And in this video, I wanna talk about one of our clients who is 11 months old and is struggling with loose stools or diarrhea, stump, tummy pain and foul smelling poo and poor sleep. Okay, now if that is you and if that is your baby, then comment below, let us know what's going on with your baby. Because this is a very common mistake that parents make and I wanna explain what that is. You see, just because, now this baby had actually allergy tests done. I don't know who did those tests, but they should not have been done. And I'll tell you why. Because these symptoms is not what we call an immediate type allergy. It's a bit like IBS-like symptoms. And for those type of reactions, even in us adults, you cannot test for it via a blood test or a skin prick test. The only way to test for it is to take it out of the diet and then back into the diet. So mom has had allergy tests done for her baby and obviously it came back as negative. So she says to me, I said, okay, we need to go dairy free. And she was like, no, he's not reacting to dairy. And I said, what, what do you mean? Well, he had this blood test done and uh, it came back as negative. And I said to her, okay, you know, I spend 95% of my time explaining this and I'll keep explaining it because I think we are just not well informed and we are here to make you aware what the right way is okay from a proper clinician trusted clinicians there are so much information out there please listen to experts if you want to read about it go on allergy UK and or allergy us i can't remember the website for the us but there are so many trusted sites where you can read about allergy testing i said to mom okay you cannot test for this type of allergy so the first mistake was she went to get allergy tests done that came which that person shouldn't have done because the symptoms did not suggest an immediate allergy so if the baby had struggled with an immediate rash or immediate vomiting um, or breathing difficulties, then yes, we would do an allergy test. But for loose stools, diarrhea, tummy pain, and foul smelling poo, you should not be doing no allergy testing, okay? It's not gonna give you anything that you can use to move forward. So I said to mom, we need to eliminate dairy because as I've just told you as well, I told her, you cannot test for this type of allergy. So we went dairy free, and within four days, symptoms resolved. It's not really rocket science. For some children, it takes longer, okay? Not just four days. The guidelines suggest two weeks and symptoms resolved. And mom was like, oh, okay. And I think she's starting to understand now the difference between non-IgE, IgE allergies, because they're different and the management is different. And for non-IgE, you need a dietitian. We are the expert when it comes to this type of management, this type of a diet. So make sure you work with a dietitian, whether that's us or someone else, that is the way to go, okay? So if you have any questions, pop them below. And if you want a one-to-one -one call with me to discuss your baby, then why not check link in bio? 15 minutes free call and I will give you the plan that you need to move forward with your baby. No faff, correct information. We are here to help you. So make sure you book that call in today and I can't wait to connect with you.